Here is a copy of the phishing email that Linda received. It says, Dear online account operator, your ACH transactions have been temporarily disabled. Linda clicked on the link in the phishing email and Internet Explorer opened the link. As you can see, the website that she went to actually just redirected her to another site. This is very common behavior associated with the black hole exploit kit phishing attacks. The first URL that you see here in the red circle is actually just a middleman. It could even be an infected website owned by a real business that the attacker controls. The job of this middleman is to forward users to the real servers that will then exploit their computers. Now at the bottom of the browser, you can see the website that actually exploited Linda's computer. It's lemonadium.ru on port 8080. And again, this is typical behavior that we've been seeing with the black hole exploit kit. Redirects to a second server, often on a Russian domain over port 8080. So why do attackers bother setting up this middleman? Well, there are a few reasons. First, it adds another layer of indirection between the crime and the attacker, so it's harder to track down the attacker. The use of a middleman also makes it harder to block these types of attacks. If a company blocks that first domain, the attacker can just discard it and switch to another middleman without having to move the actual exploit server. To Linda or to anyone else who clicks on a link in a phishing email, it doesn't look like much. That's the point. In this case, all we saw was a redirect, and when the target page finally loads, it's blank. There's no flashing lights or skulls and crossbones to let the user know that their computer has been infected. Most people just close their browser and go back to work, not realizing that their computer isn't really theirs anymore.